Hey everybody, it's Grinning Matt here again. Two videos in a day. Back to how we do it. Let's just do a little speed test on her. Um, 12 miles an hour top speed with uh, the gas pedal, the throttle. I don't have my throttle. It doesn't go full range. So 12 miles an hour, not full range throttle. With turf tires, front turf tires. So 12 miles an hour. Top speed. So, yeah. A uh, little update there, guys. Uh, look, aw, Matthew and Sam, look at that. Matthew and Samantha, guys. Woo! Oh, it's so sweet. We'll get back to mowers. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, so, knobby tires coming in. Snow hogs coming in. Top speed with the throttle as it is now. And the throttle only goes from where it's at now to here. And full ranges up here, so that's full throttle. Right now on my mower, 12 miles an hour. Governor, grab, pull, hold, 16 miles an hour. So, it's pretty sick. Tensioner pulley, huh, guys? I told you guys, put a tensioner pulley on there. Uh, but, day after 4th of July, I'm going to do a little more update on that. There it sits, right there. Can you see it? I don't know if you can. Crap. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Can, can you see that? No, 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 quite possibly, can you? There, tensioner pulley, guys. Uh, it's not really a tensioner pulley, more like a keep crap out of the way pulley. Uh, it's a pulley, little V-belt pulley, that little V-belt I showed you. With a bolt, I drilled a hole into the board here. I have a washer here, lock nut, nut, underneath that lock nut tightened up against that lock nut to make sure that lock nut holds on there good and then I have nut on top of this pulley and then I have my two belt retainers see because right now the belt's not going to come out belt's not going to come out got retainers on both sides uh, and this belt retainer comes all the way down and goes to the bottom attaches on both points this one is just over right here on this side is just hangs over the belt doesn't slip out of it the belt can't slip out of it so the belt can't come off the front or the back pulley either right now as it sits no matter how soaked this thing gets so no front or back no back or front retainers for these for this mower won't need them actually because of this little thing I built on here uh, so as it sits right now it's just a pulley it's got a bolt run through it it's not even the right bolt diameter for this pulley hole but it doesn't have to, it doesn't matter actually if you think about it because uh, this pulley doesn't have to it's not that it worries about because it's not going to go back and forth now because of these nuts holding it down so it works really good uh, it's got lock nut and then a nut on top of that holding the retainers bolted on and the top of the pulley bolt and there's a small bolt in between the bottom retainer part here and that's the spaces out this uh, bottom part of the retainer so it doesn't grab on the pulley and then I have a cap nut on the bottom there tightened up in there and this whole thing is solid it doesn't even wiggle and I'm gonna let the uh, see now uh, I don't know if you guys can see that because now I can't tell but yeah it's right there works great it's on there tight pulley moves and the reason was all of this work was just because this clutch right here because the belt would grab on the back of this clutch right here on this metal piece and just rub it and it would not move with this 4 inch pulley on the transmission so 4 inch pulley on the transmission now 4 inch pulley on the front 1 to 1 ratio top out probably at 15 if I get full throttle gas which would be pretty sick because then I can get around really good uh, but basically it kind of looks like a dual pulley clutch if you look at it because so I got this pulley here my clutch pulley here and then I got my little pulley right here but it's, uh, it's a pretty good little setup I got. It's uh, it's pretty good. Them belt retainers are sick because look at that. Look at that right there. The belt doesn't even, I mean, I don't know if you guys, tell me if you guys think that this belt needs to be a smaller. Because, look at that. Tell me about that bounce, guys. If you think it needs to be a smaller belt. I need, real, I need help because not a lot of people comment on my videos. But I'll get a couple views, you know, so. Someone's got to know something. Should I be able to do that, guys? Should I be able to just grab that slightly? Should I be 
real quick on it like that. It, we're over, it's like really floppy and bouncy and really, really easy to flex in my hand. And uh, so that's basically my spacer pulley tensioner thingy, whatever piece of crap. Just thought I'd do a little video on that. Also going to take you over to show you the mud pit, guys. But just tell me about if you think I need a smaller belt, 85 inch belt, an 86 inch belt right now. So 85 inch belt. Tell me if you guys think so. Uh, and uh, you guys, tell me in the comments if you're excited about the tires. Woo! I am. I'm for sure. I am. Two inch bigger in the back. Same size in the front, but just narrower. So I'm gonna have some sweet grip in some mud guys I will not have any trouble sliding around in the mud in that mud pit over there I'll get grip and I will go so I don't have to worry about sitting there spinning my tires and not going anywhere because that's what my trouble's been lately because these crap turf tires this turf double tire the turf two tire here and the standard turf tire there so woo pulley clutch guys tell me how you like this retainer thing tensioner thing tell me if you guys like the idea and uh, if you guys think belt thing, or if you guys think you know anywhere on these bodies of these, these Murrays, like this one, where I could put a tensioner pulley, one that's like spring-loaded, to keep tension up on this thing right here. Maybe I could put one right here, it's spring-loaded, that pulls over here. Keeps it pulled, but, yeah. Ugh. And tell me what you guys think full range is going to be on this bad boy. With, uh... Full range is going to be with uh, full throttle because I'm going to try to figure out how to get my gas pedal. Jacob John over there said he got his to go do full range, go back to idle, and be good. So, well, he had a crap spring, so I got a good spring. I'm going to ask him how he did his and see if I can get mine to go like that. So, right now we're going to do a little walk over to the old mud pit. Hey, dude, I was looking at some uh, guys. I was looking at uh, two tires. I was looking at tires because I just bought tires for the first time today. Whew, 80 bucks out of my pocket for some knobby tires. I was thinking new tires for this bad boy. I wouldn't get rid of the super lugs, obviously. I'd just keep these bad boys in the Craftsman. But I'd go get the other Craftsman rims I got, 12 inch rims, and drop some freaking like uh, ITP uh, Interco Interco Black Mambas. Oh my gosh, those things are sick tread. They're like freaking wide and like that tall. I would never get stuck with the Craftsman. They're just like boom, 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 boom. I mean, it wouldn't look like a tractor anymore. It looked like a freaking like monster mudder. Look like cra look like a fearless front uh, suburban. I'll take him in the pull off competition. Except he has got a diesel and I got a V twin. So I guess he'd probably win. He's got more torque than I do. But uh sorry guys. We're almost at the mud pit. It's a lot faster when you're riding on a mower. Here we go guys. Here she is. Here's the mud pit. The mud pit. I'm gonna try to get in the mud pit without getting mud on me. Uh, I just wanted to go around the other, other part of their neighbors got the dogs out. Let's see, I'll just go through the fence right here. Oh. Where's my mud boots, boys? Okay. Here we go. Here's the Dane the Death Hill. This hill has not been conquered yet. Well, I mean, it's been conquered, but just conquered by turf tires with it out being muddy. I could probably do it right now in my locked rear end if I didn't hit the mud pit, but it's kind of hard not to hit the mud pit right now because I don't know if you can tell that mud. But you got your straight giant uphill with all your rocks and your stuff. I'm probably gonna take this rock out because I feel like this one busts a tire. Not these round ones though. And then you got your rock, your grassy big area. Once you get up here, you have your turnaround point. This is really a, like, a spot I like to just come up here, stomp the back tire, and just like slide around in. It's starting to get squishy now, so it's starting to mush up. So this is probably going to turn into mud pit too up here. So you're going to have nothing but bog, basically, probably. So just my off-road trails up here, guys. Let's get the horses have been getting over here into my crap. But, uh, so you got your turn-in area right here. You got your little climb if you want to climb this up. I moved all the nail boards out of the way so you don't get no nails in your tires. You got your little back upward off trail. You got a little area over there. You got an area over there you can pop up off on a big rock in one of my videos. I don't know if you guys have seen it. But, yeah, it's in there. It's, I don't think I'm going to do that if I get them snow hogs. I don't want to ruin them tires. Unless you guys think it won't ruin the tread on them. Uh, over here we have a little narrow point comes in. 
you can come in here and pop up there. You can come in here and go up there. I'm probably going to start coming up here once I get them dobbies. Just fly up here and all this muck and just be like, Ugh. just devastating this. But this is some slick crap with them turf tires. I can lock them tires up and just slide down here. You got your little narrow points. This little area right here occupies my little mower pretty good. Um, you got your drop down point up here. You go into the mud pit and then you got this over here. Now, this right here is the mud pit, guys. Oop, I just stepped into the mud pit. Okay, so you got your hill right here, and then you got your mud pit right here. That right there is the rock thing I was talking about. This is the entrance to the mud pit. It's turned into literally just like slop. It's freaking bad stuff, guys. This is the kind of stuff that just people dream about and it's not just like a little trench one little trench it's like two foot trench that all these other guys who go mudding are like you yeah, I got my trench I'm going mudding this is actual real mud guys this is the kind of crap that you just boot grab and stuff I hit this stuff in turf tires as it sits I've hit it in turf tires just come in flinging. This is my mud pit, guys. And it's not just two little trenches. It's a pit, as you can tell. And it's all like this. It's just all a big, sloppy, goopy mess. It's what you want in the mud pit, guys. Basically, it's just perfect. All this, my trenches, it's gonna be a big sloppy mud pit. It's already a big slop pit, as you can tell. Gotta knock this crap off. Goes up. This is usually where the front tires stop because the front tires ain't got no grip. So, front tires are sitting here, stuck, back tires. But now with them knobbies, <laughs> just with the knobbies, snow hogs gonna help with steering a lot. Tag gum hat's getting worse, guys. Uh, some snow hogs will help me get good grip in the front end. So if I come up on this stuff right here, front end grabs and so does the rear end. The rear end, I guarantee now, when I get them knobbies on there, it's gonna help me dominate this stuff. I'm gonna like zip through it and then just devastate this goop because it's not just mud it's not like water like I've seen some of them videos that these guys call themselves mower mudders and they got like a little hole little trenches that they've got with a water hose pouring water in it it's like boof, deep water that's not mud this is mud stuff that's like makes you can't stand in because you're sitting in it and when you step on it it just like squishes that's mud this is mud. This is the kind of crap you would want to hit. There's a big old sticker right there in my way. You guys are probably like, why are you pushing all the sticks off the side? Makes it harder, guys. I ain't gonna just leave these little sticks in here to help me get grip. Real men go through trenches that involve nothing but mud. And that's what I do with turf tires. turf tires but I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a quick little 13 minute video tensioner pulley plus mud pit walkthrough just basically showing what my mower does with turf tires so you guys can imagine what she's going to be able to do with knobbies and snow hogs she's going to be unstoppable and uh Yeah, and hopefully you can look forward to some trail riding videos if whenever me and Ethan, we pick up him a mower. Riley Romper project was canceled because Nick Boyd didn't want to go out buy a mower. And he's like, I'm more of a bike kind of person. I was like, understandable, you like motorcycles more than you do mowers, perfectly understandable. <clears throat> and uh, go old Jacob John over there, he's like, yeah, I got a, my hydrostatics piece of crap. He realized that. And uh, so he realizes that and 
he's going to be uh, on uh, turning his uh, little Murray rear engine rider into a mudder. Lifted mudder. So that's what them boys are doing with their lives. Little update on the old 